sound barrier and the silence <coughs> majority. We're going from Seattle uh, speaking there, just like two days ago we broadcast in Denver from the Denver Open Media, which is public access in Denver, um, where we broadcast every day. But then we went to the studio and it was the first time this station had actually done a global broadcast. We pull a satellite truck up, we work with the people there, students, volunteers, and we do this broadcast. So that's what we were doing in 2009. We um, broadcast from Seattle and then we were making, it was Thanksgiving time here, and we figured um, uh, the talks wouldn't be happening here, so we talked Turkey and Canada. And we were invited by three um, community media outlets, public radio and television in Canada, to give a talk at the Vancouver Public Library. Um, we broadcast across Canada as well. So we're crossing the border, two colleagues um, and I, and we're... <coughs> about an hour from Vancouver and they pulled us aside, uh, the customs, and when I handed over my passport and they said, we want you to come into the facility. It was pouring rain. We're already late for the talk. This was not a good sign. So we pulled over, went into this big warehouse facility, and um, they said, "Miss Goodman, can you come forward, please? So we went forward. I said, I really, we have to get to this talk. Can I at least, if, I, if I'm entitled to a phone call, I don't know in Canada, can I call the chief librarian of the Vancouver Public Library <laughs> to say we're going to be late? And they said, we want to know what you're talking about tonight. And I said, what I'm talking about at the library? And they said, yes, hand over your notes. So I said, are, are you serious? So I said, it's a public talk. You could come. They said, we want your notes now. I said, well, I don't actually give speeches like that. I, um, so I don't really have notes in that way. You're in a kind of no man's land on the border. Um, uh, and I knew I couldn't put up too much of a fight because we would just miss the talk entirely. And so I said, what I do is I pretty much riff off the columns in the book. And that book was Breaking the Sound Barrier. Um, Bill Moyers wrote an introduction to it about the importance of independent media. So I said, I pretty much just riff off of the book. And they said, then give us the book. Well, our car was filled with books. So I went out to the car. I got a copy of the book. I handed it to the customs agent, to the border guard. And one of them started reading it. I thought that was a good thing. Another one started um, uh, writing in pencil everything I was saying and another was typing into the computer and they said tell us what are you gonna say I said well I thought I'd start with the last column um, that is about the health care fight in the United States and I said interestingly you know Sarah Palin's book had come out at the same time and she also went to Canada to speak better I said she was reaming your health care system you didn't detain her